Hey guys, this tutorial will explain to you how to download and install Games US, which is the same type of software uh, as Games in Orca. It is also free, the same thing as Orca, and it has the pretty much same capabilities as the other ones. Um, it is developed and maintained by the Gordons Group. Um, and this is their homepage if you Google Games US. To download, you have to go on the tab on top here of the page and click on download, which will bring you to this page with lots of text. And you have to find this red link that says obtaining games. If you click on it, you will get to the license agreement. And that will bring you to the registration um, page. The first thing you have to do is enter your email in the box uh, on top of the page and then you have to select which distribution you need. So for people who are using Windows you can click on this version from May 1st. Um, this is a pre-compiled one so you won't have to do anything. If you are on Mac then you can select the one from 2014 which will be the first um, choice. If you like to compile it yourself, you can do so by choosing the versions that are below. And when you're ready, you click on submit request. This will send a request to the people responsible um, for sending out the download links. And you will get uh, an email in your inbox. Make sure to check your spam because it could land there as well. Um, and the link will also have a username and password and when you click on the link it will bring you to that page you enter the credentials and the download will happen automatically uh, so give it some time uh, for them to send you the download link because it's not an automatic reply they actually check um, if you're an, a person not a machine so um, give it a few hours if not like a day and if you don't have it within 24 hours then it's probably in your spam so check that uh, so while you're waiting for the link the download link you can download and install other things that will be required uh, for you to get um, the first thing is this hpc pack um, register with the unpronounceable name it's an mpi uh, package that will allow you to run the calculations on parallel and not on one core um, so don't panic I'll, I'll have the links uh, in the description of the video um, it it's on the microsoft official uh, web page so it would look like this and you just click on download here and click uh, select MPI and redist.txt and click on next which will start the download that's the first thing you have to get and uh, download it in for example your downloads folder doesn't really matter double click and run the installation it will require you to uh, restart your computer so if you don't want to restart it four times like I did because I didn't know how many times it will be required so just click on no and like you can restart it after you've installed all the other things and do one reinstall instead of um, restart instead of like four times the next thing you need um, is the visual C++ 2010 package uh, thing so this as well looks like this and you will click on download there's nothing to select there it's just a straightforward download and the last thing that you need is this update so officially it's an update one but that was back in 2012 and now we're up to update four so when you will google this line you will hit on the the fourth update uh, but you still have to get it and you still have to install it um, so don't panic it's not it's not the end of the world if it's not the right number of the update it's fine 
So once you have downloaded all of this and installed it, then you can restart your computer. Um, and by that time, you will probably get uh, the games registration uh, link uh, where you can go and download the, the software. And you will end up with this uh, file that has this MSI uh, extension. You can just double click and it will go through the wizard that will make the installation for you very simple. You just have to agree on things and click on next, 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 and that's it. Um, so if you choose everything by default, which is, I suggest you to do that, just go with the default values everywhere, um, you will end up with this new folder in your C disk um, called games.64. And if you double click on it, you will end up um, with a folder that looks somewhat like this, but without these log files. And I'll tell you why in a second. So if you have these folders on top here and you have the most important, this executable and these two batch files, then you're good to go. Then you can start the testing. So everything went well. The way to test uh, whether your installation was good or not is as follows. You have to open, first of all, the command line, which in Windows 10 happens just to be here, which is very easy. If you have other um, Windows numbers, then you can um, click on run and then write CMD and enter. And you will end up with the command line that looks like this. Well, at least somewhat like this. Um, and then you have to navigate your way through to this games 64 folder. So in uh, Windows, the way to go from folder to folder is um, by the command CD, which stands for change directory. Um, and after you type CD, I don't know if you can see, I hope you can see this. It's kind of small, but here it is, CD then you have to write the name of the folder. So for us, the the name of the folder, the name, then the full path of the, the folder is C colon backslash games dot 64. And you press enter. And then in this, the, the beginning of the line should have this folder written out because the, the computer tries to tell you where you're currently located. If you want to make sure that you're in the right place, you can type out DIR, which stands for directory, and that will list all the things that you have in this directory. And if it corresponds to what you have here when you open the Windows Explorer, then you're in the right place. Good for you. Now, Let's check if the installation of the software was correct. For this, we need to run the test. The first test that we will do is run um, all the test, test cases on one core. It's not a parallel execution. For this, you have to type out run all that bat. So we will run basically this batch file over here. And then you need to give the version of your games. Um, the way it's done is by finding where is your exec executable file. So it's this one, it's the .exe. And then everything that is located between the dot after games and the dot before exe is your version. So my current version is this. It's 13-64.pg, blah, 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 all the way to BLAS. This is my version. It's kind of lengthy, but this is what it is. So you can copy that here. And then the one that I have in the end of the, the line just stands for one core. So it's going to be a non-parallel calculation. When you click uh, on enter, after you've written that in your command line, you will have something like this pop out. So I'll just ex 
extend longer so you can see. It will start this running exam, blah, 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 blah. And it has 47 exams up to now. Okay. Um, and those exams will create those log files that you see here. Okay. So if everything is running on one core, you have half of the job done well, which is great. You have to check, however, that your um, log files run completely. For this, you can open them in Notepad, scroll all the way to the bottom, and then find this line of execution of games terminate normally. It's very important that you check that all of your log files have this line. All right, and if you have some failed tests, you'll have to figure out which kind of calculations didn't work out. Now, if this all worked well for you, the next thing you have to do is rerun all these exams, all these test files in parallel. So for this, you need to run the same line that we just ran, like ran before, run all that bat with the same version of your executable, but instead of having one in the end of the line, you put a two which will ask uh, to run on two cores, okay, which requires a parallel calculation. When you hit enter, you will have something like this pop out as well. Now it's going to say that it's running in parallel and it will run uh, 44 logs this time because some of the calculations are not meant to run in parallel, but it's okay. Uh, and if you get to this FIN, which is fin, stand in French, it's the end, right? Um, and everything went fine, that means your games is installed correctly, everything's fine, everything's perfect. Uh, and you're ready to go. So, um, now comes the question of like, what happens if those things didn't run properly? Um, okay, so to answer that very good question, I will only say this, I am uh, not the developer, so I cannot troubleshoot all your problems, but you can email this address over here, which will send your request to the person responsible for maintaining the software, and you can ask your questions there. Uh, but I suggest that you go on this Google group I'm just going to show you what it looks like. Uh, it's the Google group made by people who use and develop games. And uh, you can post your questions here. Uh, but you can also Google topics, for example, installation. And you have plenty of people who probably have the same problem as you and you will have lots of answers here and you'll find lots of good information on this um, Google group. So I encourage you to go check it out for yourself. Um, and yes, I think this is it for the installation. I hope it works out for you. Uh, if you're on Mac, uh, sorry, I don't know. Uh, I don't have Mac, so this is a Windows one, um, but there are lots of help, um, there's lots of help on this uh, Google group uh, for people who use Mac OS, so I'm sure you'll be able to figure it out, and um, so I'll see you next time and try to do more calculation with games.